Unravel the mystery of compound prepositions. Avoid common errors. Hello, learners. Welcome back to our series on grammar fundamentals. Today, we're diving into a very interesting part of English grammar, compound prepositions. Specifically, we will be looking at some of the common mistakes we tend to make with compound prepositions and how we can avoid them. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use compound prepositions more confidently and accurately. Firstly, let's recall what compound prepositions are. Compound prepositions are prepositions that are composed of two or more words. Examples include, in front of, on behalf of, due to, and, instead of. These often cause some confusion due to their multi-word nature, but with a little practice and understanding, you can master them. Now, let's look at some of the common mistakes people make when using compound prepositions. 1. Incorrect pairing of prepositions, for instance, using instead to, instead of, instead of. 2. Confusion between simple and compound prepositions, for example, using in, when the correct choice is in front of. 3. Using unnecessary prepositions, such as saying off of, instead of just off. Now, how can we avoid these mistakes? 1. Practice and memorize the correct pairings. There's no shortcut here. Repetition is key to understanding which prepositions naturally pair together. 2. Understand the context. Some prepositions or compound prepositions are more fitting in certain contexts. Try to understand these contexts and use the prepositions accordingly. 3. Keep it simple. If a simple preposition can express the same idea, there's no need to make things more complicated with a compound preposition. Finally, let's practice avoiding these mistakes with some examples. Remember, practice makes perfect. Incorrect. He did it instead to me. Correct. He did it instead of me. Incorrect. The cat is in the table. Correct. The cat is in front of the table. Incorrect. She jumped off of the diving board. Correct. She jumped off the diving board. And there we have it. These were some of the common mistakes with compound prepositions and ways to avoid them. Remember, the key is practice and understanding the context. Keep working on your grammar, and you'll see improvement over time. Thank you for watching and keep practicing. See you in the next video.